Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Winky's Cooking World here. Um, yeah. I'm going to, as I mentioned in the genealogy video, put this entire chicken or uh, chicken in there. Um, that's at least two pounds. Probably two pounds. I've got to make sure I don't use this diaper. <laughs> you have to want to check it. That's okay. Um, I'm good with that because I've been told that if you look at the freezer after it's cooked, ow! <laughs> so, let's grab the recipe. I'm going to, sorry, I want to season the chicken first. I moved the uh, chair so that mm, yeah. I'm adding thyme and sage because they're both wait, what's that? Alright, I'm gonna have to do this like this. Because they're both chicken um, chicken and turkey seasonings. Um, with which you can make poultry seasoning. Um, oops. Again, I used celery salt. Uh -oh. That's more salt than I wanted, but the chicken broth is entirely unsalted, so. Paprika. And again, I use just regular sweet paprika. I don't like smoky stuff. You could use the smoke like they recommend, but personally, I'm not a fan. And I also use lemon pepper rather than regular pepper. Um, that's just me. So we do that. I didn't trim any excess facts. Okay. Do, 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 do. An onion. Three cloves of garlic. Three cups of chicken broth. Okay. Okay, get it. Okay, I'm not worried about veg. Okay, onions, garlic in the bottom of the silk. Okay, so let's move you right here. Um, gonna throw this away. You're there for a reason because <coughs> that's where the springboard is going. Plenty of time for the real garlic to sweeten and stuff. So. Well, I should have kept the bag on it. Now I'm going to take another one. That's a great one. Yes, I lost my shoe. that. <laughs> um, I didn't look at my phone to see if my phone went back to me while I was outside a minute ago. I need to plug this in too. Hold on. Off this because I don't have a big knife around. And one little trick about garlic if you're using like whole cloves in a recipe, because you really don't want to eat a whole clove, so you're just using it for flavoring, cut it in half. Okay. 
because otherwise all the flavor goes inside the garlic. And yes, I realize garlic gets sweet as it cooks. Said three cloves. So let me grab this. Well, I cut that kind of in. <laughs> Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, here it is. Wonk. Some people will put it in skin and all, but yeah, I I can't see doing that. So I'm back. I'm gonna cut this one in half. Whoops, let me get that skin off. Because that was so here we go. Okay. Onion. I'm not gonna chop the onion up small, there's no reason to. It's been sitting there for eight hours, so I'm just going to cut it in quarters. It'll fall apart the rest of the way. We'll just take the skin off. Plunk. That doesn't have any skin on it. Take the skin off this. Plunk. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Plunk. Plunk. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Okay. Now we need to do the bra. I think that's next. Okay. So three cups. And that's basically what this is. Ah. Uh, I'm going to use three teaspoons of cornstarch because it's going to make a gravy as it cooks. So, oh, they want you to brown the chicken thighs first. No. Nope. Okay, into the crock pot. Okay, the cornstarch and water is a slurry that you mix in. You mix in tomorrow. So this is all set. So yeah, that's all set. I'll show it to you. I'll put this stuff away. Um, Mm -hmm. Up here, up here. There it is. That's going to be delicious. I'm going to put the lid on it. I'm going to take it over to the fridge. Let me take you over to the fridge first. Okay, you can see this stuff. Been cooked, we mix Argo with water as a slurry and we um, put it in there, stir it in, let it heat up a little bit. And um, the beauty of cornstarch is it doesn't have plenty of oil to stick in. This is going to be delicious. I have a Something I can make a slurry in, so it doesn't really matter. And that's what it's called. 
Um, so I'm going to plug this in. It's on off. But I'm going to plug it in so that I don't forget to plug it in tomorrow. That's it. On off. Um, okay. There we go. Uh, mix one to one together and add to the slow cooker. Turn the slow cooker on high to thicken the broth with the gravy. Salt and pepper to taste. So I need to make sure that I have containers that that's going to be in a lot of places. I do have some, um, it looks like, so that's good. I'll come up with others in some way. Um, oh, there. Thank you for joining me for prepping chicken. Tomorrow we will cook it. Tomorrow we'll take it out of the fridge, we'll put it in the crock pot, we'll turn it on and let it go. Um, they always say low heat. I do high heat in the crock pot. It's just what I do. Um, I'm going to leave the cornstarch right here on the recipe. And I'm going to have two more cloves of garlic from that bulb that cost me literally 78 cents. Um, so. <laughs> so I'm going to go check and see how our video is doing. Um, again, I've got the uh, wheelchair in the middle of the floor because, well, it's in the way. <laughs> when I use the garlic pot, it's in the way. So. Alright guys, I'm going to let that video continue to edit or produce it. Um, and I'm going to make a genealogy video on using the light. There we go. Uh, oh, I already made a genealogy video. That's what, yeah, okay. Wake up. I'm going to, well, I was going to make, nah, what time is it? Nah, I think this is going to be it. Um, I was going to make a wrestling video, but I really need to get to that um, genealogy mess that I have to deal with. <laughs> so, this is going to be it for today. But, I hope you enjoy both videos. Excuse me! My order has been placed. Our clings will be here on the 7th. And we will <coughs> do some Christmas decorating on the 7th. Um, I will also be doing an unboxing that day. Um, they will be separate videos. Um, I'll unbox the clings, Mama's necklace, uh, oh, and, and my notebook for Bible study. Um, oh, no, my notebook, it's a, um, it's a, um, soft-sided folder binder because um, it's easier than carrying the hard-sided binder. Um, so I'll be unboxing all of that. Daddy Bob's isn't coming until a little after that because again it's personalized. <laughs> Mama's is just a letter so it's not necessarily personal per se even though it is her initial. Um, but it's a zillion other people's initial as well. So. <laughs> um, thank you for joining me. And, um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Once again, it's 60 something degrees and sunny. On November 3rd, which is insane. Um, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you want all your notifications or if you want to customize them. Uh, leave a smiley or a thumbs up or something in the comments uh, because I've heard from other YouTubers that that counts as engagement, you know, and so that they'll be more likely to recommend the video to other people. So 
Have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, God bless you.